Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, this is the second take on this video because when I tried to record last time the uh, blood moon came up and I was stuck out here and I got killed over and over again and you can't sleep through the blood moon. So yeah, so what I did is I read it. So, so we're going to go back over a couple of things. Pure daisies. I've got two here. If you put smooth stone or logs, regular vanilla oak logs around them. Then what you'll get is living rock and living stone, and that is one of the basics of nearly everything in this mod. Alright, so we put our pair of daisies. When you put these down, they basically cannot have any other flower adjacent to them, or they will not work. So as you see, none of them are. We got a nice little pattern here. However, this these are some very slow producers. So you can't expect anything amazing from them. Uh, I did make one mana pool last time. And the point is that the first diluted mana pool, the only thing you can really do with it is make a dilute a regular mana pool because it holds so little. So as we see, uh, the check mark there means that we can use this. We see we still got the check mark, which means we can use it again. And so we've got three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another mana spreader down, which connected to there. Put another one here. Another mana spreader, another one here, another mana spreader, another one here, and then we are going to have one more mana spreader. And the basic thing this do is just to allow us to collect all of this mana. So, uh, as you see, the mana's already actually went to the end. Now, this is still a regular mana, a diluted mana pool, so we want to put that in, get our regular mana pool, and stick it right there and we're gonna have a nice little thing now that is where we're gonna have our runic altar however we're not worried about that right this section we need to get mana up so the other thing we created last episode was this little guy and this little guy is pretty much the wrench of witchery so one thing you can see is where the mana pools are going and as you see all the mana is going right now you see how they stop at that mana pool So, basically show them where they go. So they're each shooting their mana to the next one. And this mana pool is building up. Um, I'm not an expert this much, so I do not completely know what that unknown status means. Now, we, I believe, right click on it. Now what it's telling it is to send its mana to here. So we right click on this one. Right click on this one. Then bam. And so they're all going to shoot their mana forward. Now it doesn't look like much mana. Because it's all going to this mana pool. So we're going to let that build. Hopefully I did it right. And mana will fill up before we get done. So. We're just going to leave this. We're going to jump over the fence here. And we're going to go down. And this is an exciting day because we are going to create our tools. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I made the experience obelisk here. Went to another. Died a whole bunch of times. And lost a bunch of experience from it. So I made the experience obelisk. So hold it. Would have did that on camera. But it would have took a bit. So. Uh, next thing we want to do is we're just going to shove this in. We'll show, I'll show that later. We don't need it right now. Oh, yeah, I made a less count. Just put a book and a uh, sapling in the uh, crafting table, and you get that. So we're going to put all of this stuff up. We'll keep our food on us. Uh, this will go back in here. Let's see. So this is kind of my, uh, my chest for this mod right now. All right, so let's look at what we have. I... End up finding a village that has more shared bricks, so I extended this two levels up. Yes. So the first thing we want to do is get the cobalt to the bottom. And if you click on it, it goes to the bottom like that. Because all of our heads uh, are going to be made from this, including our skit head. So what I want to do right now is basically, all right, so most of these tools are going to go away. Yeah, actually, all of them will go away. 
we don't need any of those anymore because we are fixing to make some better tools okay so while I'm doing this oh, let's make sure the right things on the bottom yeah cobalt's on the bottom even though it there it goes I'm going to kind of explain how the tools go when they're made it. All right. So understanding how the tools go is, of course, as you would most likely suspect, is very important to being able to make good tools. That just makes sense, right? Does to everyone. Um, so basically for the hammer, when you're looking at what you're going to get your durability and speed from, what you're taking is for durability, take the heads and add up the uh, durability and divide it by three. That is excavator, okay. Whew, thought I put the wrong thing in there. Anyways, divide it by three, and that's your base durability. Uh, same thing for speed. Add up the speed, divide it by three, and you get your base speed. Uh, for, and then you take the handle modifier and add to it to get your overall durability. And I did not put enough in there. Oh, shoot. And that's because I kind of messed that up. So the first mess up is right there. Shit. I have 25. Uh, so eight. Okay. Uh, this is a mess up that can be corrected because, alright, so we're gonna slap in this sucker. And we're gonna take that up. Because I was not supposed to use that. That's not why I had that tool for. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it was. And yet, I let it happen anyways. Alright, so take that back. Um, so the next thing we wanna get is our Kalandite. That's what we want. So we don't need these anymore. We'll need these two eventually. And tough rod casting. So all of our tough... Uh, we're using cobalt for the heads because it is the fastest. Let me make sure that's a tough one. Yeah. Because it's the fastest. Uh, the rods have the second best modifier, 1.75. However, the best is Manlin at 2. But we don't need that because we are going to put... A whole bunch of uh, RF thingies, RF yeah, capacitors to charge it by RF. Uh, so we basically need one tough tool rod for all the weapons. Uh, yeah, for all the weapons. So let's look at what we got here. Uh, Skid needs two of them. All right, time to keep straight what all I have. I meant to actually write this down, but didn't. All right, so that's all the tough tool rods. We no, we need one more. Because we are making a cleaver. I believe the cleaver only takes one. No, it takes two, so we do need one more after this. Alright, so we get the tough rods we need. And then... Come on. We should be making two... Two rod ones, which means we should have... Actually, one left. We have eight. Why do we have eight? That I actually don't know. But we're going to make the parts and we'll figure out where I messed things up. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do cobalt nets because the one cobalt was actually supposed to be for this. All right, so and I should oh thirty inoshite. Yeah, we are gonna be using quite a bit of inoshite. All right, uh, leave this here. Alright, so there's that one. What do we need next? Uh, Inoshite is what we're going to use for our tough rod heads because it makes pretty good use of it. Um, 
So, Cobalt is speed 14. These are speed 10. Uh, do 20, 40 divided by 3. We're going to get a speed of 8. So, that's a pretty fast tool. Now, uh, there are a bunch of useful modifiers. You got Stonebound, you got Jagged, you got different ways to affect the tools, including Writable and Thomic, which, if you put a piece of paper, it'll make it writable, which means you get one more modifier slot. And if you put a piece of uh, paper, yeah, paper gives right over thumb, it gives a thumb, it which gives one. If you make it out of one, then you get one extra. If you put at least three pieces, then you get three extra. Um, or, or if you make the whole two, you get three extra as well. So there's a lot of different ways to... Why didn't that do right? There is a lot of... No, I didn't have enough of it. Okay. So I thought I had had enough and planned this out. And somewhere along the ways, I probably messed something up. Um, however, I'm not worried about that. And, oh yeah, we were going over kind of tool bush. And I just left that uh, for the for the excavator. And, and um, what do we got left? So for the excavator, we need this one. One second, people. Oh, we get this too. Um, let me try to get the right thing on the bottom. Okay. So for the excavator and the shovel, it's the two heads divided by two. For this one, it's oh, I can't do that until oh. That's kind of wonky. All right, so I'll have to wait till this goes so I can finish this off. Um, so for the excavator head, is the the head tool I divide that by two, just like you did here, except for by two. Um, for the skit, it's the binding and the skit head divided by two. For this, it would just be the cobalt head. For the sword, all right, this is go up here. Actually, binding's down here. For the sword, the long sword we're going to create, it's just a head again. For the the uh, cleaver, it's this and the head divided by two. And that's kind of how they go. Actually, we're supposed to get a piece of paper as well. And that's kind of how they go. So that's just a little information on how to calculate up the heads and all. And, okay. So I think I was going to use the Ardite for something, and I don't forget what. We can go ahead and throw it in here now. Alrighty, so actually, so an uh, interesting. If you hit U and go back to with the metallurgy or three, uh, keep going back. It'll actually tell you the base durability and all. And handle my fire two hardite is actually the best. However, I don't have that much hardite. So we're gonna finish off making a plate. Okay, where is that? Since I got all distracted with that other stuff. Um, so we need one more head. Yeah. Um, so that's what we get. Uh, with modifiers, we have three. Now, you can really, really customize these tools with modifiers and all. However, I don't worry about it too much. And the main reason is that, uh, how should I put it? Um, simply put, I don't ever use all the modifiers. It's really not needed. When you look at mining speed, the hammer we have, even without redstoning, is going to mine fast. And we'll probably put one round of redstone on there, and it'll mine even faster. But there's not really going to be a big need to put, you know, 10 things of redstone. So my first aren't important to have that many, really, in my opinion. Um, also, the other thing to think about is you can add modifiers afterwards. You can, I think it's uh, three different ways that you can add modifiers onto it and that itself will make it like good enough just that in itself so there's not a real huge need to do the modifiers um, 
and that's just kind of my opinion on it um so the next thing we had to make for these guys is the bindings they take three apiece and oh god my wife informed me I did that so um as I was talking about that one so we need one two we actually need three of them and they take three apiece I believe how many yeah three so we need nine as you see I'm not really using a whole lot of different stuff to create these weapons I just don't see a need in it um Ardite we don't have uh, actually yeah we don't have quite enough so we're going to do a combination uh Ardite so we're going to create two of the bindings with Ardite and it gets a really pretty high durability factor and basically the Ardite is going to come with guys sorry my internet is running slow today and it's kind of messing a lot of things up so them two are going to get it and then how many more bindings did we need I believe we need one for the no so we just need the one for here which we're going to use the Innoshite for that which should be good enough um, and then alright so we are going to have some paper bindings and it's mainly more of because well it's cheaper to be quite honest with you I don't know why I grabbed that um, if it's not metallic you gotta use this so we use this and we get the binding and actually I need to get one more piece of paper one more piece of paper yeah, which should be over here kind of yeah I see a whole bunch of stuff in there we're going to play around with that's where some of this stuff is going to get really fun I love putting in machines using machines they're so much fun alright shoo second thing we need is this now even though it only takes half of material cost for paper you don't get anything back so that's something to be kind of aware of and then this binding is done so we have this up here have this up here yeah and we should have everything we need to create our tools now we still oh wait oh yeah the last thing we need is manolin which we have one of now we have a whole bunch of stuff extra because I apparently don't know how to add what most likely happened was my whole plan for how I was going to create these tools kind of got messed up but I'm not re-recording and I'm not gonna re-smelt this or cheat it back in nothing like that so uh, these tools are going to be really good as it is so we don't really have to worry about it so we got everything we need for our tools so we're just gonna start from here uh, so let's look at what this tool is going to be at so mining speed of four uh, level cobalt attack three hearts mining speed of four my calculations this should have been higher than that oh well uh, mining speed of four is going to be pretty good alrighty so next we're going to do the ats uh, put this here put this here uh, mining speed 4.4 uh, and that's going to be this one and this is a fun part you see they all kind of look neat because they're created by so many different materials and mining speed of 10 you see because I only have one material here the steel skit this mining speed is a little higher so it actually has the higher mining speed so see if I create all the iron cobalt I probably would have higher higher one but that stuff takes a lot and in the end this is gonna be good enough for what we're doing and we're compare kind of to our old tools some of the stuff and what's the last thing we need our sword now I'm gonna pull some of the old stuff out and we're gonna compare the a few things so I want to compare for you guys is these two things. So let's look at this hammer. Put in there, we see I guess mine speed of four, three hearts, eight thousand, thirteen thousand. So it's going to mine at about the same speed before we put redstone. Uh, let's look at the attack damage. Now this is probably going to be about the same attack damage. Attack four hearts, four hearts. Now you see it has extra durability. 
the modifier. Now this one does have more durability, but still the mandolin are actually at the same level. And we'll compare the pickaxe as well, just because we have it. So we got mining speed up 10, 14. So you see as you use more stuff in some of these, it's going to dilute it. But that's fine. Because as I said, we don't need all those extra modifiers because we can put some heads and stuff on it and make it better. However, we are going to show you guys, I am going to show you guys this. Oh, well, first of all, there's something that's taken guys. So what we have over here is our setup. So that one back there is going to be our jetpack set. This is our battery setup. So we have eight batteries. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tools. So eight batteries put on tools plus one for us. So we're going to make them all. Oh, with the batteries, uh, it's changed since Tinker started, like everything has. Um, it used to be that whatever battery you used, you would get 400,000 RF, no problem. That was just hands down how it was going to be. However, now it's not so. And it's set to where every 1,000 points would give you the ability to use the next upgrade to the... Uh, the next capacitor upgrade, the next level. So, okay, that's how it is. So when it started though, it was, you could use any capacitor and it'd be an even 400,000. Then it went to the capacitor to determine how much was on it. And now it's going to this. So to show you guys something, now if you look, this doesn't go on it. Even though I can the capacitor and it's the thing, it doesn't. The reason being is, this doesn't yet have a thousand. So it won't put this on here. Now, if we take our other pickaxe, and that's this one, it has 14,000. If we put it on there, bam, that can go on it. But we can't put the second level on there as it is. Um, it's at 1,500. So what we can do, and we're going to go and grab a couple of things out of the chest down here, because I would like to get the second level on everything if I can. So I'm going to grab this. And we got seven emeralds, I mean it's a fine. And we're gonna grab those. Alright, so these basically add durability. So if we put this on here and we put this on here, we get nineteen because it adds five hundred. Put this on here, we get twenty one hundred it does a percentage. So that did what seven hundred. So this increases the durability by fifty percent which puts it to 21. This increases it by straight 500. So we are going to put that on there. Or, oh, pick it up, pick it up from this side. Uh, next, we're going to look at this. This one's at 2100. Now we could put this on it and get up to 3150. I don't think we're gonna. Now everything else should be good. Like these, I'm not going to put anything on them. Not even the shovel. Because it's at 9000. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And we are going to, where's my, okay, so I've got it set up. That was the first tier. The second tier, here we go, 10. All right, so 10 invar and eight. Actually, so a while ago, I grabbed the wrong thing out. And I was supposed to grab 10, but I grabbed invar because they look nearly freaking identical with this texture with uh, the textures they have in the various texture, the uh, various mods. And all we gotta do is we gotta place this in here and this gives us the second level. So we're gonna do this to everything because we can use the second level tool on everything we have. Let's hope, yeah, I had enough, I had enough. All right, so let's get these set up. Now I didn't wanna create these ahead of time I wasn't sure what levels I was gonna be you. So you see, this one has four hundred thousand. The last one had forty thousand, and the next one has two million. So, so that's a level two. This one's at two thousand. If we put it on there, see, we can put it on there. So we're gonna do it for that one. And that one has four hundred thousand. Let's look at this one. Uh, we're gonna do it for that one because four hundred thousand is enough. Um, if we look at the rest of these. We want everything else over 3,000. Because if it is over 3,000, is over 3,000? Yeah, way over 3,000. Yeah, all these are way over 3,000. And let's go ahead and throw this, which means we can upgrade these barriers R to the final level. 
which we see is here. What a third level. And we got some electrum, some diamonds, and some redstone. And I guess it's not, now this is not the final level. The final level takes you to interim and all that. And although some, most of these weapons actually could keep that on there, not all of them can. So, oh, oh shoot. So as you see, guys, I ran out of Electrum. I actually did not anticipate this being able to do that much. And I don't have enough. So what we want to get is, um, if I remember correctly, it's gold and, ah, uh, sometimes it's hard to inventory and mess you up. Uh, it should be gold and redstone. No, gold and silver. Gold and silver makes two. Was that two? Let me check again. Golden Silver makes two. We got three, so we're going to need to do four. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, that's not silver. So, we're actually going to do about five of them. And the lucky good thing is, Alloy Smelter is such a good little machine. We got on alloys only, so what we can do is we can put these in here and bake them. So we're going to go ahead and fist up the tools when we get back. Those should be good to go, and we can put them on them. Alrighty, so we're going to do the hammer nets. Now if we put this on there, we see it can take it. And it has 400,000. Uh, you don't really, the next one would be the 10, yeah, for instance, uh, the 2 million jump. Um, I had to say. Oh, wait. So I did put some of the wrong ones. 400,000. So, oh no, that is 4 million. So those are going to have 4 million on them. Now, I don't need to tell you that that is a freaking lot. That's like, that's going through a lot of RF. So, we want is 9 more. We didn't want nine more, but we grabbed nine more. Alright, so all we need to do is one, two. Um let's see. Oh, actually, we didn't need that many. Alright, so two. Let's get our redstone. I said so sorry guys, I anticipated on having all of that set up beforehand so that I didn't have to do any of this. And I could just go through it show you guys how to do it and not have to worry about crafting or getting the materials for crafting however it's all fine and dandy because we've got the stuff we get it pretty quickly now the last one we'll go on here and then this one will be the one I keep on me and so we got our tools the last thing we're gonna do is we wanna fortune this sucker out so you can have up to 450 on fortune or, or on luck and what this gives is luck and what luck gives is fortune and looting fortune helps you to get more uh, ores when you mine looting helps you to get more uh, drops from from mobs and we so we want to lapis this out now I got this much lapis because if you go into the nether which I did how I died like three times then you will find the uh, redstone the nether lapis pieces and these things will give you a ton once you smelt the ore it gives you 12 lapis blocks and then you can grind that up so we got that masked out now the good thing is because let's just put like a diamond on here we only use one modifier with that so we still got a whole another one that we could use now for this little guy, we also want to put it on because we can get looting. And something I'll do after this is going to take a lot of looting in order for me to get all of the leather front that I need to make backpacks. But we'll talk about a little bit more of that a little bit later. Um, uh, this is basically how you modify them. Uh, you can put other things like silk touch on. Uh, just keep in mind silk touch and fortune are not usable together. You cannot uh, fortune something you silk touch from. So if you're gonna do silk touch, it's better to have another dedicated item for that. Uh, one thing you can do is actually 
put it on all right without that uh, one thing you can do if you want to is basically put it on like your pickaxe or as you saw before I have a hammer I don't need to use so I could put on my hammer and then I would have a silk touched hammer I could take around me so if I wanted to for example silk touch redstone I'd be able to pretty easily I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to. Okay, so we got that. So the next thing we're going to do is set down machines because before we can use these tools, we need to charge them. And that's the wrong chest. Actually, I want to do this. I want all this out of my inventory. I am going to eat. You got me some chicken. Alright, so doom, doom. we're going to take all of these machines. Alright, so the first thing we want is energetic infuser. Uh, Alright, so, oh wait, uh, I have a bunch of chests in here too. So the energetic infuser is going to allow us to charge our items up. So what I like to do is put this here, put this one, oh no, not there. I get to say hello again, YouTube. Alright, so during this video I uh, my microphone cut off and my headphones died they weren't supposed to so the rest of this video will be uh, after recorded I have to admit I was having some problems with Minecraft running and so there are some lag spots hopefully once it's compressed it won't be as noticeable but for right now it kind of is so I'm basically setting up my infuser in order so I can charge items, not realizing that I have to put in their IO circuits. So I thought it could automatically pull from an inventory. However, I don't believe that's the case. Uh, I don't realize it yet until I click into the chest. I configure it properly. Uh, the shift click is a very handy thing as it disables everything. So when you're first setting it up, you can do it. And as we see I've got it set up and now I'm gonna drop my tools in the chest just after I give it power yes I do at least do that first and uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do here uh, the next video it didn't record the audio so it hit the uh, headset had died I didn't realize it so the next one will actually be dubbed over to like this for the whole video um, and that's what you're gonna hear so hopefully the next time it won't be as bad uh, I had to get a better microphone so I don't have this problem again alright so that's me realizing it's not taking an item and here's where I realize I need to dismantle the machine so I use the pickaxe from before because why not? Although it means it lost some durability, unfortunately. Alright, this is where I set it down in the middle. I do think it can push to an inventory, but I didn't feel like testing it on camera. So later on, if you see that tighten up some, it's because I did test it. And you can. Uh, yeah, there's this weird, I don't know if it's just my machine or what have you, but there's this weird bug where sometimes it doesn't show the circuit. So you always want to make sure you disable the signal for something like this because it's something where when I drop the item in there I automatically just wanted to take it now we see it's working so here I go ahead and just drop the rest of the tools in there as I did there and now with everything set oh yeah I guess set this connection too and this is going to cause it to automatically extract the tools and dump them in the chest and this isn't going to be used a whole lot because after I get them all charged up, I'll be using my flux capacitor there, and I won't really need to use anything else. Um, I am going to try to upgrade that one to Enderum. I'm probably going to do that off camera once I get enough stuff to do it, which I think I about do because I get a good many Ender Pearls along with more outside. So, I'll probably have enough, and I'll be upgrading that. So, the next thing I do is put down my uh, pulverizer um, so I'm gonna set the back one however and I didn't realize this till later on in the video I didn't have the bottom set to 
accept anything. As far as pushing for an output, which means there's not one on there. So here's where I realize I don't have my pickaxe and I go grab the old pickaxe I was using. And just so you know guys, like steer tools actually are pretty good. A completely steer tool, especially with the moss. Because actually, the whole time I used them tools, I never repaired any of them. Because they were such good art. Alright, this is where I see that the only thing I got is the energy one. So I try to right click it anyways. And of course, nothing on there. I see you hit escape again. I did that a lot during this episode. I'll try right clicking and it's already there so at this point I say forget it I'll fix it off camera and put put it back I realize what I did and I'll fix it on camera later um so uh what am I going to do next so next we're going to set down the fluid transposer and a crucible the crucible is going to liquefy stuff redstone resident ender uh glowstone cryothium all of this but I don't have enough room and at first I'm going to mine the wall out but then realize that I really don't want to do that because this is part of all the machines we're going to have and if we do have any more then they're most likely just going to be put on top of the conduits for right now so I'm going to go through mining out the wall realizing I don't want to do that and I would cut this out except for this gives me a chance to talk to you guys um, I did not get as far in these two as I wanted to as I want to get some more Thomcraft stuff done, but I forgot that in order to do that, I had to have more scribing tools. And I didn't. Um, I didn't have another feather because I had to go out and grab that one feather I got. Alright, so this is where I'm like, forget it, I'm going to do this differently. And that's what I basically do. Um, I also want to get into the Ancient Warfare. However, I did not have enough leather to make the stuff for it, so not necessarily, but after that, when I come back, you'll see that I'll have Ancient Warfare up. I have the machines made. Um, I'll probably go ahead and research the wheat farm as well. So I do need to start getting some form of wheat. Alright, this is where I realize I'm entirely too close and I need to basically back it up one. Yeah, that's me realizing it. Because what's held in there is my jetpacks, which I didn't get to to this episode, but I will get to next episode. Um, now yeah so I'm gonna redo that uh, this video is actually very close to being done this was the last thing I did in this video so I've got the one back put them over there all those benches there are gonna be taken out and my kind of display station for when I'm making stuff is gonna be put in the actual uh, item room which is going to be right across from this where the tinker uh, on the other side beside the tinker stuff so there we go with the transposer oh yeah the transposer basically fills stuff so when you get to resin in the redstone you can fill buckets with it or whenever you had to combine two things with a liquidified thing you can use that now you can use alloy smelter to do some of this but not all of it you can use alloy smelter it ends up being a lot easier but there's still stuff you're going to need this for. So you're still going to need this for some stuff. Um, that's why I go ahead and set it up. So uh, I'm going to put down the inner condor, so I'm going to set them. And that's going to be it for this episode. Um, other than I believe I put down the, the, the uh, induction furnace. Um, next episode, you'll actually see the jetpacks and I kinda go through the demonstration of each one of them and for that reason I'm not going to get rid of it with the botany the flowers are way too slow so I'll probably create the ring of magnetism off camera if I can manage to get enough mana and then the rest of the stuff we will create on camera and I'll basically uh, do some editing of that video now okay yeah this is where I look I see the power isn't there and I set it and you basically just need any input slot. That's where I realized, oh shoot, this didn't connect either, only with the power. Is there a reason why? And as we see, the intercontinent it popped up there. So before getting off video, I decided to do it. So uh, I will see you guys next video. Until then, deuces.